welcome to <laughs> to the uh, Still Division Normandy 44 Back to Hell release stream. I'm Knorr, uh, you're Nick Klass. Uh, and soon, in a, in a bit, we will be joined by Roland as well, and you guys are going to... Well, we'll find something to play, but... Um, Expansion is releasing in about 15 minutes. Yes. Which means that this last hour has been very hectic for me. <laughs> so I just sat down. It's like, <sighs> do we have everything? I mean, I I don't doubt that the game is going to be released on time because that's we tend to do that. Uh, but uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm um, um, I'm happy that uh, Back to Hell is uh, finally soon, soon, soon in you guys' hands. Uh, I thought. Since we don't want to take a break in the middle of uh, a co-op mission, I thought I I drag Nicholas in here because I thought you'd uh, we'd go through the four new divisions, uh, and let's see what your opinions are of said divisions. Now it sh it should be pointed out that I asked you to do this like today, I think. Mm, yes, and you haven't played around with them uh, at all. So this is more this is more of a have a look and see what you can, what you think, rather than the in depth. I've I played like fifty hours with each of these divisions. Yes. Uh, should we start with the allies since uh, that's where you are? Okay. I think we're on my screen, so if we can swap over to Nicholas's instead. There we go. So uh, of course, back to hell comes with two. Uh, uh, let's see if we can actually find it. There yes, we they're actually uh, the. Uh, they've they've been. You can actually see. Which one's a part of which expansion has? Because it says on the portrait, which is nice. Yes. Whew. Okay. So let's uh, let's have a look. So this is the demi brigade SAS. The demi brigade SAS, which is the unit that um, basically formed quotation mark from uh, a bunch of uh, paratroopers that was dropped over Brittany mm -hmm. the day before D Day. Yeah. And then joined up with the French resistance. Which means that they have like uh, the motliest crew ever of. Uh, uh, see if you can find one. Yeah. Of, uh, we we have a request from it within the booth that you move your microphone slightly back. There we go. Okay. I Thank think Blon you. Blonty will, will yeah. be a lot happier now. Yay! He's he's always cranky when the audio. <gasps> uh, so a motley crew of. Uh, <laughs> Ba basically, the uh, French resistance and their like home we vehicles they have painted with them. Yeah, I was going to say it seems like some some of these vehicles are most definitely uh, civilian vehicles that have been conscripted into service. Yes. So th this is actually kind of interesting because um, uh, their points take a huge jump in phase C, mm -hmm. ba basically representing that. Uh, uh, because what happened historically was that pa Patton and his panzers, uh, or not panzers, since that allied tanks, uh, came as a came as a relief force. So in phase C, they suddenly get a huge amount of um, American mechanized units. Mm -hmm. And I think they might have, a, if not the highest, definitely among the highest phase C incomes, which might be good because phase C is usually longer than other phases. Yes. Also. Uh, so, so they're definitely one of those divisions where you kind of hold out at the start yeah, they, uh, and try not lose too much. Phase A and B is uh, on the weaker side. They have they have uh, some good infantry in the paratroopers, mm -hmm. but you can also see that the, the division that's currently on screen is also one of the ones in tr in the trailers and all the reactions i've gotten from from the release trailer that we haven't actually shown yet and i'm like what are the, where are those units from i'm like well they're in the game so now now we know so they do have some air at least yeah they they have air support from uh, both the RAF and the USAAF so yeah so it's okay Fair enough. Let's uh, let's keep on trucking, shall we? Uh, and all oh, right. And it should also be mentioned that we are running on what's essentially normally the EU for Dev Clash time. So some people might be confused as to why we're here, but we are releasing the next expansion to Steel Division: Back to Hell today. And also, the Dev Clash ended last week. And I'm not sure Blondie wants to uh, reveal when the next one is starting, but I think it's we're aiming for the sixth. Yeah. So people don't have to wait too too long. 
And then we have the seventh armored, the desert rats. Yes. So one would expect this to be um, more yeah. mechanized. This, this is one of the m more elite of the allied divisions mm -hmm. because there's, there's a lot of uh, veteran, uh, both infantry and tanks from the Africa campaigns. They also they have, they have a, they have a like ninety. Mm. Okay, you'd want more than they have. They have, good, they have good. They have good face A income, good face B income. It dips a bit in face C, but so you kind of you kind of need your units to stay alive from A and B to yeah, or you want them to. And then again, you kind of always want your units to stay alive. The special thing here is that they have like uh, all the Cromwell tanks, like literally all of them, and they are everywhere. They're using scouting Cromwells, <laughs> Cromwells for fighting. They have Crom Cromwells as observation posts for artillery. Uh, there is even support Cromwells. <laughs> Damn. And they also have the uh, Abbot of Chantry as a sp not ace unit but a special leader unit. Yeah, so there's only there's only one available. Yes. And uh, th there's a bit of backstory that um, I handily read from Eugene's um, dev, dev post <laughs> yes. on it. But ba basically one of the commanders... Uh, and his crew felt proud that, oh, we have the fastest tank in the entire British army. And they found out that, oh, it's because we have a practice tank with uh, softer steel in it. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's really fast, but it has crap armor. And ah. the Cr Cromwells have bad armor to begin with. So, yeah. so it's, it's unlikely to, uh, to be, uh, be le <laughs> still be around at the, end of the <laughs> at the end of the game, unless you keep it behind yeah. the Bukharch for for most of it. At which point, wh what are you going to do with your speed? Just yep. you know, they o they also have a, lo a lot of uh, self-propelled and mechanized units. Like uh, mm -hmm. all their anti-aircraft is self-propelled, and uh, a, a lot of the artillery also. So many sextons. Yes. And that's yeah. uh, that. Th that so those are the two allied divisions, and then well, it's uh well. And we have two Axis divisions as yeah. well. Um, and the first one you is know, the second se Panzer. Second Panzer, also known as more more elite German tanks. <sighs> elite German tanks all over the place. And there's uh, yeah. there's even an ace. Yeah, they have an ace in... Uh, I actually don't know what his first name is, but Ramsch. Yeah, it's uh, Ma uh, Major Ramsch and his Befehlspanzer IV. Yes. It's uh, what we're calling it. Mm, these are a bit in also a bit interesting because um, they have a really, really high uh, phase B income, yeah. but virtually no tanks in phase B. It's, mm. st it's Stugs. They have a lot of uh, Panthers and such in phase C. Yeah. So there might there might be a case of of actually wanting to save some of your uh, yeah, some you, of your some of your recruitment you, you, points you, 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 what what you might want to do is is uh, not spend everything from phase b and then deploy a huge tank push as soon as phase c starts mm -hmm. also if you happen to be a uh, history buff uh, their infantry actually comes with the mp44 or sturmgewehr 44 mm -hmm. which is uh, apparently quite rare and they have uh, this one kind of interested me. Um, this Bogward. Um, the Bogward 4. Uh, which is apparently a radio controlled suicide tank. Oh! Okay, yeah, that, that is interesting. <laughs> we, we, which has the interesting side effect that since it has no crew, it cannot be suppressed. Huh. And it goes boom when it dies. Like, it goes boom for real. I, I kind of want to see that now. <laughs> It's not as impressive as it sounds, actually. But no, uh, but I, just the concept in itself mm. seems neat. No, o o otherwise it uh, my fairly standard German uh, tank division. So, yeah, let's move on to the last one because that that that's actually a bit more interesting. In the, I think there uh, is. Yeah, I mean, allies. Yeah. <laughs> I think let's, yeah. let's be on the right, correct tab. Yeah. There so we go, the, the Festung Gross Paris, and I'm not pronouncing that correctly. No, but... I uh, th this is another one of these that's uh, like division, as in it, it's basically all the units the German gather to try to defend Paris. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, again, one of these super motley mixes of everything from disheartened uh, 
I think this is the Kriegsmarine Desk Jerks or something, mm -hmm. to elite infantry. They have a small, cheap, uh, crappy tanks all the way up to tigers and panthers. Hmm. It, it, it covers like a, almost the entire spectrum. Interesting. And, they, and the fa fairly unique locks, they have a lot of both infantry and tank slots. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, again, yeah. It, it, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely a, a motley crew of a bit of everything. Yeah, the, 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 it's so many just different types of things. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we can we can also see like like a lot of them because you're scrolling through, right? And a lot of them have mm. just one line each. Normally, we see like yeah, that's also a lot the, of, they uh, have quite a lot of actual card slots because mm. again, it's few of many. Yeah, they have an off-map smoke support unit. Okay, <laughs> okay, which is slightly interesting. And uh, there's two things to note with, with the air. First of all, they have a lot of bombers, as in. Uh, 12 of the, yeah. the, these fairly heavy bombers. Uh, historically, to carry out Hitler's orders, of if, if you can't defend it, then bomb Paris to smithereens. Did not happen, thankfully. Uh, and uh, this one, which really interests me. Uh, Off-map artillery observer with their Karl Gerat 600mm siege mortar. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's one of the train mortars, right? I don't think it's actually tra oh, it tra train-powered, but... Uh, uh, it shoot the, the sh shells it fires is so heavy. It actually doesn't sh fire a volley. It fires a single shot, <laughs> and, it, and this one really, really goes boom. It has a it ha is it, is it a fifty explosion? Yes, like this. That's uh that's that's a high value. It, it, it kills lighter tanks outright at least. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, and, and actually, to be precise about that, I didn't find anything that actually survived the blast, but I didn't bomb anything really heavy with it because I didn't have time in a <laughs> practice run. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, that is that is good to know. Um, so, let's see, is there anything else we want to say about uh, these uh, four, four new divisions? Like like I said, you you haven't really had too much time. You've, you've looked at what Eugene said and you've played around with them a bit, so... This isn't yeah, really no. in depth. There might there might be a lot of synergies and stuff that we've uh, we've missed at this point, but that's because I I told Nicholas a few hours ago that he needed to do this, so it's it's all my fault. Uh, also, not that much, not that many points at the start, and then it kind of they get a decent amount of income after that. Yeah, they they have a decent bo both faith B and C income. So. Again, since, since they have a bit of everything, then theoretically, and as, lo as long as you counter correctly, you can counter everything. Mm -hmm. Because it seems to be a bit of um, the jack of all trades, master of none yeah. going on here. Okay, well, I mean, the reason the reason we are sl being slightly quiet or looking around at the moment is because it's like one minute to three, which means that someone is actually it's andreas i know who's uh, who's pushing the button uh but they'll do it soon and hopefully we'll have a, a few people uh coming in here as that happens um to uh to celebrate with us and then we will try and play uh, play something uh so i think it's it's just one of those annoying cases where we just have to wait slightly to well, uh, to know what's going on. It's three o'clock now. It is three o'clock. Maybe we should uh, maybe we should go for the for the trailer and then Let open the door and see if we can get some people in here. Let's go for the trailer. Here we go.
and we're back. Uh, now, if everything has gone according to plan, we've piled in some of you. Of course, most of you, Jen, is not here in Stockholm, so uh, <laughs> we've tried to fill it out with us, uh, many of us that work uh, on the title here in Stockholm. In any case, the button should have been pressed at this point, and the game should be available on Steam. If not now, then very, very shortly, uh, which means... Uh, I get to do this. The confetti time, yes. Yeah. You get and, to do this, Andrew. And normally, I don't get to do this because I always hand it off to someone else. Mm. And Blondie can confirm this from the booth that most people are horrible at aiming the confetti. Most people suck at it. So this is, you know, I've practiced a few times. So this this should be excellent. We'll Actually, find out only... shortly. Here we go. So I think we can officially claim that uh, Back to Hell, the new expansion, uh, for Steel Division Normandy 44 has been released. It is available, and you can go and play it right about now. <laughs> I may have broken the ceiling, but that's fine. Oh, there's... Yeah. There. No, it's stuck, it's stuck to the sprinklers, though. Yes. No sprinklers. Aim, do not aim for the sprinklers. <laughs> Didn't you just say how good you were at aiming this one? Well, like I am... Pr I, 20 seconds you know, ago? It's... it's uh, you kind of have to manage expectations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so say that you're excellent, and then people will assume so. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for coming around. I'm going to shoo you out now. For and the I'm gonna, first Tuesday. <laughs> and I'm going to give <laughs> this uh, chair to Roland. Yes. So you're here. You can actually have this as well. Make way for the fun people. And we'll see. Hopefully, uh, the mic is on. In any case, yep. we're going to swipe off some of the confetti. And I'm going to find something to sit on, and then we get to decide on what we, or what you guys want to play. What are we going to play? Should we have to do another of the historical scenarios? Yes. Are we defending this time? No, I want no. to attack. Attacking is fun. Okay. <laughs> I can spawn more infantry. Okay. Got confetti on the screen even. Well, I mean that's it's not it's not a release stream if there's not confetti on the screen. That's <laughs> that's just uh, that's just how it works. Uh, I guess we can have a quick look at what's actually available in the historical battles uh, at the moment. If we uh, go to uh, custom uh, custom game and then create, right? Or is it scenario? No scenario. It's scenario. No, so because we've, we've played Windsor and we've played Dawn of the Panthers, yes, on stream. So we have some other two v twos: Operation Atlantic, Operation Blue Coat, uh, and I think yeah, these are all in order of date when they occurred. Mm. Yep. So the big question is, which one do uh, you guys pick? We can do. Oh, that one Prime had. Talk. Yeah. Rangers lead the way, which has, uh, as you can see, these are some of these decks or divisions are not available in game, so they're specific mm -hmm. for. I've, I've mentioned this a few times, but I feel like it's cool enough that I keep mentioning it. Uh, and this is actually slightly different from the uh, other um, uh, historical battle we played, also because both sides start with one victory point. Oh, so, okay, yeah, that's interesting. So we, yeah, let's do point to hook then. And also two completely new. Uh, if you play allies, it's so who who's new, joining uh, because we both went into. <laughs> oh, gee, wow. Yes, I'll join you. Where are you? Where are you? That is probably. What's your name? No. It's cap. It's either Captain Knorr or Captain Petko, because that's what these are called. Exactly. Which is slightly insulting to me since I I I. Did I do something? Please. Shall I host and then you can join? Yeah, host then. Because I, I just realized that's basically probably me being stupid. Yeah, there you go. Uh, maybe it wasn't pu public, set to public or something, I don't know. But yeah. So. I think it might be fun if we play allies because there's two, there are two completely new divisions. Yeah. Yeah, you want, you, so you want the... Uh, yeah, okay, and these actually w w work on a di d different setting because one of them has the by face income mm -hmm. and the other one yeah. has the standard by minute ticking. Ooh, I'm. Uh, so, which one do you want, Roland? 
<laughs> I have trouble choosing. I'll, I'll take the ticking one, the infantry. Because I feel like infantry, I can just throw them in there. Mm. <laughs> Well, you guys, should we should we get celebratory? No, we shouldn't. We'll have to get our celebratory assembler after. Yeah, we're we're having to skip the assembler. Yeah, yeah that's actually that's not. I'm gonna get we you. We did assembler. not sign up for this. That's true. So you guys do the setup, and I will be back with some uh, traditional assembler. <laughs> oh, and can you get me a glass of water as well? Please? I can. Yes. Use my servant whenever I need to. <laughs> I think we can launch already. No need to wait. Yeah, probably. I can do a setup. Cool. They actually dare leave us alone in here, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm still here to keep track of you, though. <laughs> uh, don't you have to get out? Like, leave us alone for a second. We need to no, talk to the viewers. No, no, no. I'm your handler now. <laughs> yeah. I call you my babysitter. Yeah. Okay, so the thing here is that the allies have to hold point, the hope yeah. the axes have to hold uh, the I castle, like and. Uh, you you oh. likely get to do the land routes from the side. Yeah, but do you see the issue? Like, um, because we have to deploy on the entire other side of the battlefield while our land routes, like the the, the way we deploy, mm -hmm. is on the other side of the, of, of the map. Yeah, so which it's means that I, I with my initial uh, yes. deployment, have to do basically all the defensive, defending here. I, I can buy two tanks, and that's basically all my points. So I can provide firepower because I don't see you having anything. Uh, and no, I can there keep is my a two complete things. lack of tanks here. Yeah, so maybe that's a smart idea if we need to push. That I just get the two tanks and we'll see Do where it. we get. That can't go wrong at all. Like, I have to be <laughs> able to manage two tanks. Uh. Oh wow, and we need to hold the, the point as well. I completely forgot this mission. It's so difficult. <laughs> How are we doing this? Uh, deploy most shit in defense to begin with. Yeah, I want to just keep one line open because we, we can have the other land thingies fall because we're never going to use them anyway. Thank you. Ooh, we have some loader. It looks so nice. Because I just want the, the one uh, reinforcement route that is closest to us, because the other two are... Well, we're never going to be able to defend them. I th do you have an infantry? Infantry? Yes, I do. I have plenty. You, yeah, you, you might actually want to just... Uh, actually de de use your points and deploy them among, among the can't. land routes here. You, you can, can only deploy here. Oh, you can't even start there? Yep, okay. That's the issue. You could, you could just hold, up, hold it up while I'm slow and deploying there. Yeah, yeah, true, true. And then deploy as soon as it starts. Yeah, because, because this is very blatantly not intended for attacking because they don't even yeah, come yeah. with transports. True. Oh wow, oh wow. I, I, th I still think that I should use the tanks because they're going to deploy. Can we see where they... Oh yeah, we can see where they deploy. Oh damn. Uh, because I think we need to just secure the land route here. And I can use my tanks to actually get there fast because if we don't, if we don't get any... Oh no, I do get vehicles. Okay, no, never mind. I get vehicles. I'll I'll be the runner. Thank you. Whew. So, what have I missed? Um, it's a very we interesting have strategy. campaign. Yeah. Okay, so rather than having just one front uh, starting location, you actually have. Uh, no, we have. We we're, you're in a corner. Yeah, we're in the corner. We have to hold point point the hawk. Mm -hmm. uh, the axes have to hold the castle up here, but um, the allied problem here is that uh, we have no reinforcement routes on this side of the map. They're all on the left side. Oh. Yes. So. So we have to hold this and at the same time start deploying on the land routes up here to try to catch the castle. Yeah. These are pretty good though. Uh, so, uh, Tanoki Jason wants to know if there are any other streams for us today, and no, this should be the the only one since the Dev Clash is taking a bit of a break this week, since they finished last week. Um, uh, and <laughs> uh, Radic wants to know if you guys are playing against each other and you're not. This is a 2v2 co-op mission, so on the yes. other side here, so it could be a four-player 
uh, scenario, but we are playing against the AI on the other side. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this uh, how this plays out, to be honest. And this is very hard. This yeah. is so, a bit tricky. So let's see, Roland, are you the one with the ticking uh, requirement yeah. score? So you'll yeah. be the one that are actually feed, uh, uh, <laughs> feeding in the... Uh, the um, yeah, the continuous the, reinforcements. Yes, from, yeah. from what's essentially the left-hand side. Also, I am the only one that actually has vehicles. So I'm the only one with, with some semblance mm -hmm. of mobility. Yeah, my infantry don't, doesn't get any transport. Oh. And and like the only way we can get units on the field is from these three routes, mm -hmm. and we need to hold this point. So we're gonna be stretched, very thinly. I, I'm looking forward to see how this goes because that yep. sounds very tricky and quite quite a bit different from oh, yeah. uh, the uh, the normal map strategy. But I want to because they're coming from this way, and I want to have my anti tank. Uh, Gun set up in a decent position, but there's too many hedgerows, man. Mm. You, Chen, why do you torture me so? I, I, I don't think we can blame you, Chen, here. <laughs> no. we, uh, well, we could blame the. Why, why do you make uh, these difficult the, the, uh, the maps, the historical maps that they've been using. <laughs> okay, I am, I am as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, same. Whew, let's go. Feel the tension. Oh, wow, and they're already. Oh, yeah, okay, there is nothing from us there. Run. No, I, I, I did get a bomber and a fighter, because the, the Germans actually yeah. had the air deployment route here, so yeah. air cover Smart. is... Uh, yeah. And at least our air is, like, quite safe. Mm -hmm. Like, it can't be blocked off, at least. Mm -hmm. I also Even noticed uh, a slightly interesting thing in that, that the German divisions actually doesn't have any listed oh, income yeah. of AC. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have to hold on for 20 minutes and then we should be okay. Yeah, it's run, a run, friends, run. Ready, sir. I like how it turned out that while I'm being like, I, I want to attack, and then well, yeah, we I, end up defending. <laughs> we end up defending. <laughs> but this guess, is interesting, though. This is quite yeah. Interesting. I mean, Nikla, so what's what's your strategy? Are you just going to move forward with the infantry that you have through the uh, through the Bukash and the uh, the forested areas? And nope, hope that I'm, you... I, I'm on the hold the line duty here. Okay. I'm just gonna hold this point. See what they do, because I think I'm 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 going overkill. I'm going overkill. I'm You're gonna. Yeah, uh, it's also the um, slight um, excitement. I'm gonna call it that we have no clue what the, what the Germans actually have on this map. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty happy that we decided to go for something that uh, pounds the Shrek down. You guys don't no, know anything about. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. I mean, I guess it also makes it slightly harder to uh, to comment on since we mm -hmm. don't really know what's happening. But at least at all at this point, you have secured the uh, the the bottom land route going in, even though it doesn't seem like the Germans are too interested in actually cutting off your other no, routes No, but they the also, moment. they have to come from quite far, I think, and I think they're still focused on getting the point, and I'm not sure if they're, the AI prioritizes actually getting the supply routes cut mm -hmm. off. So I might have just gone entirely overkill, which is completely possible. I tend to do that. Well, I mean, it's... Sometimes it's, it works. You, you should see, seriously yeah. to take those and start moving towards the castle. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you failed any of the previous scenarios. Uh, so exactly. The castle? What's the castle? The, the, uh, their control point. Yeah. Oh, castle. we need the castle. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I only told you three times or so. Yeah, but I have, I have other things to deal with. Communication <laughs> is key when you're planning <laughs> the co-op <laughs> missions. Okay, I'm moving towards the castle. I brought a tank. Very nice. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing this as well. Come on, friends. We can do this. And oh, uh, while well, Nicholas has chased back the uh, the few, uh, well, I, ooh, there's a fire in them woods and another punch. No, was was that them or no? That was yours, right? Okay, Nicholas. I'm gonna wait for at least 45 more seconds because then I have two tanks. That's a good. That's a good reason to wait, right? 
Yes. <laughs> look, look at this. Look at look at this face over here, and just judge <laughs> what Nicholas feels of. Uh, oh, you need all to tactics. Well. Actually, so there is some. Uh, so there is some unit engagement uh, in the uh, bottom bottom right here. Unfortunately, some of the uh, the ranger assaults are pinned down, falling back. Okay, okay, the tank is coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash the entire area. There is so there's so much Bukash here. Yes. 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 And I'm I'm going in with two tanks. Thank this you. We noticed. Cannot go wrong at all. <laughs> yeah. So Lenda is correct, and like we're currently playing uh, two two v two, where the axis sites are bots, but this can definitely be played by uh, four players or even as what uh, as just single player, where you're one of the uh, controlling one of the divisions on either side. Uh, there's some other historical missions that are 3v3, and some of them are uh, 1v1. That is a lot of That's you fighters. Oh. Yep. Okay, you don't need help. No, I'm just gonna abort, because uh, I don't want to fight that in air. But they have two, two elite, like, elite fighters, so... Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it would be interesting... Part of me just want to see, from a... Uh, the caster in me wants to see the neutral perspective, so I kind of know where the yeah, AI is and see what they're actually doing. Because it might be that they're just like, well, we're holding, we're holding the control point. Let's just push forward to point the ox so we can actually win. Oh yes, I can do this. Oh, I forgot. Wow. Mm. There are so many options, so many things to do. Even out, even even after I talk to. Different supply routes, but I already like my mind. I had already li like crossed that, that out as an option. Like that was <laughs> not an option anymore. We were gonna let that supply point fall, but then it stayed open. Well, Very they don't. Effect. So far, they don't seem to have much on that side. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna run in with my tanks head first. It's it can't go wrong. No, of course not. But I do have artillery to smoke if I get into big trouble. In the meantime, Niklas is essentially just holding the line, being slightly pushed back by the Axis. Um, but there's a, there's a mix of bo both disheartened and experienced units. Oh! Oh, there goes my mortar. But you can go back. We can take these guys, we can take these guys. I, I believe. Give me I, I, I do enjoy the sound effects <laughs> coming out. Let's see where those pulse effects went. Uh, they're invisible because my optics aren't super. Yeah, no, but oh, I'm. I'm oh, 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 oh. Ah, but out of range. Okay, okay. Get into the, the bush. Come on, man. Go. Up, up. Where are you, friends? Where are you? I mean, oh, no, yeah, no, no. Dude, 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 dude. Thanks, get back. I'll be there soon. Clear clear the area. Ready, what? Oh, okay. This is not very good. Because I'm basically stuck. Don't. So what I need to do is I need to get some recon in here as well because there are bazookas here. Yeah. And they're going to die if I put my tank yeah. up there. Can I fire on the... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, maybe this was it. This was the guy. Okay. Do you think so? Yeah, I think so. I, mm, mm. Famous last words. Yeah, yeah I think exactly. That was, I think that was the guy. Exactly. Probably the guy. Okay, so you go like this, and they can't see us behind the bush, and we're going to flank him. And then in here, and then we continue our journey. Are you gonna, just going to leave him there? Yeah. No, no, because basically I, I I don't want him to be seen by the... No, the I, I get that, guy. but yes, you just who who's going to take out the unit that you spotted? And it's, from? Well, but it's not doing anything. So I'm perfectly fine with it standing there. Ah, uh, there we go. Die, friends, die. Yeah, see, he, it wasn't the thing you thought it was. Uh -huh. 
Oh, oh. But nice, but now it's dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now we don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm gonna push. Some Flip side, we are we are about a minute a ten away from phase B, in which uh, at which point the Germans get a big boost in units, and uh, Niklas actually gets to double up on yeah. uh, his units, whereas Roland, well, you have essentially been trickling in units all along, so... I'm doing okay. Yeah. I think I, I, I haven't things. lost that much, which is a surprise. We don't usually see that. <laughs> 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 and I'm, I'm, I feel like I have a... But maybe I'm not, not going fast enough. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those cases, right, where we, we don't actually know if we're quick enough or where what the Germans are actually rolling in with. Yeah, exactly, also. But you are pretty close to the castle, all things considered. You, I mean, you're closer to the castle than the axes are close to the uh, point the of. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Point the of. Be because oh, also, also, again, they actually don't have it, really have any deployment close to the castle. Yeah. Which means that, I mean, it's most likely that they're just going to roll some stuff in in about now. Because we are in phase B. Yeah. Okay. Do I get anything use? Well, I, I get a lot of th useful things. But what I'm going to do is get in some thingies. Oh, and then some je I like jeeps. So we can also see that uh, Niklas is now uh, putting in some... So f finally, some uh, some mechanized units. Here's yeah, some uh, oh, air bombardment. And, uh, German incoming. Oh, oh wow. That's painful, man. Oh sh yeah. Sorry. No, I'm this is, this is, I'm like that Fall was back. literally all of them got pinned down and falling back. What am I being shot from? Okay, okay, you fall back, you fall back. And so that's one of the things. Uh, the access I'm in face B. Um, okay, but that's good to know. At least it's gone. And my supply vehicle is oh. coming in for my tank, which is awesome. And we might we might see Niklas here do a sneaky sweep. Uh, I can actually deploy stuff also. Let's just hope that the reinforcements here is enough to hold yeah. the hawk. I'll, I'll get shots there. But be careful, I'm getting artillery shots in here, and there's a, um, a heavy machine gun where the attack beacon is. Okay. Time to go, people. Time to go! There's some type of uh, pincer maneuver uh, here. Oh, Unfortunately, they did have a recon unit, so uh, Niklas's crew has been spotted. Um, Falling the uh, oh, and they grabbed the uh, machine gun. We'll see if there's any. Well, I just roll. Nicholas is just rolling in on the castle now, going for the go, trying to go for the quick yeah, they, kill rather than. Uh, this is not mechanized though, so no. Unload and flamethrower them. <laughs> oh, well, there seems to be something in the castle. Uh, not yeah, necessarily that much. No, definitely so. We hold the objective, nice. Are we gonna win already? Yeah, if, if we hold it for two minutes. Oh, and there oh. is a lot of Germans here. Uh. Well, there is a tiny bubble of blue in a sea of red. Unfortunately, the objective has been lost. But you guys but did. The timer doesn't reset. No, so you got 18 seconds. Okay, uh, and I can. Flame the, uh, shoot that. Okay. Unfortunately, did some. The, these. This right. is annoying. They did, they did. Oh wow. Um, they are. Okay. Yeah. So the I. This might be the Axis push coming in here. There's smoke in the woods, and they're oh, no. pushing forward. Yeah, and the, I think it's on some sort of off-map strike. Oh wow. That might actually be the off-map smoke unit. Yeah. It could be. Uh, there's. Okay. Okay. You stop firing. That recon unit is... Is, is, is a hero. <laughs> there is nothing else. Oh, nice, and I got the, the annoying... Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's... So there's something behind... 
Do you guys but, holding up there? But I can bombard the living hell out of it, so that's pretty good. Ow, ow, ow. This is, uh, yeah, this, uh, it seemed so nice and calm. It seemed very nice and calm, but we are going to push in more. Yeah, so, do we have a we have a question about your uh, anti-air capabilities. Is Non-existent. That... Non Non-existent. Yeah, so... When I'm... there are no more units on the field, you don't need anti-air. <laughs> this is the tactic. It cannot go wrong. Yeah. Oh, 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 uh, do I still have a gun? Okay, gun, you go here. Uh, but it should be pointed out that this is a uh, both, you're both playing with sp uh, specially constructed uh, battle groups for the historical scenario. So you didn't actually build your own battle groups for for the scenario. You're, you're yes. You're essentially you're using what a huge end gave you. Yeah. Well, what they gave us is pretty good though. Come start firing, friend. Start firing. This got hectic, real quick. Ah, uh, but I'm gonna get this one. Unit, you here, keep buffing this up, and we're gonna get this one. Get him! Come on, man. Ah, oh wow, my smoke is, is erecting me. Can you fire on this? Fire on this. In the rear. Transmission damage, I can live with this. Oh, that's another off. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, well, that's an off map artillery. Um. I want to go home. No, no. It's a lot of uh, units that are falling back at the moment. But on the other hand, it seems like we're at least partly stabilized down at. Uh, uh, point the orc. Okay, you uh, guys here. And now oh, it's... Yeah, it's stabilized, but... And more importantly, there are just four minutes left till we're in phase C. And then we should start getting stronger. These annoying tanks that we can't reach. See, uh, well, okay, okay. Niklas is, uh, it seems like the axes are falling back, which is nice. Yeesh, he's gone. Yeah, there's way too much stuff just like generally hiding in these woods. Uh -huh. Can we just get more stuff over here? Thank you. And they have hidden, I don't know how many. I wonder if we can sneak up on those artillery positions they have up there. Can I go here now? I have to, um, to answer a message. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, uh, oh! Okay, uh, off map artillery coming in. Um, I'll, I'll answer that once we're done here. Oof, wow. Okay, so I've got off-map artillery coming in. There is a lot going to die. Very nice. Yes, this is what we need. Yeah, and so and you finally got rid of that pesky, like, one unit that made the whole front line look like a claw. Yes. Uh, and it's uh, slightly, uh, well, it's, uh, it feels a lot safer. Here? Yeah. So now, go, essentially go, go. just waiting for it to not be uh, out of sight. Come on, come on, do it. <laughs> the countdown. Uh, this is going to win us the game. Boom. There we go. And you stay here, because I want another one immediately after. You guys run. You guys shoot. More artillery. Oh, and... Okay, we're going to smoke them out. I'm gonna grab this. Because... Oh, uh, TV's turned off. Yeah, exactly. We don't want that. Give me my TV back. There we go. Perfect. So how long? Uh, 15 seconds to target. It's gonna be good. 
touched by Odin uh, wants wants you to uh, uh, use the Q button to sh uh, to shoot on sight. Yeah. Um, I should. I think that's one of those things where oh. like once you once you're used to something, it's kind of it's kind of hard to to do the opposite. Like that's why I always I still right click to jump in FPS games, even if it's a game where you don't necessarily need to yeah. jump that much. You're kind of just like, well, it works. God damn it, and I'm using it. <laughs> but the uh, the uh, off uh, uh, the uh, off map artillery seem to be doing a decent job at stressing them out. And now we've actually uh, cut out a part of the. German area. It's just a floating island at the moment, but slowly but surely, uh, closer and closer to to the castle. Uh, we are in phase C in 26 seconds, so uh, that's going to be some more units for you guys. We'll see if the axes get oh, any. Ouch. That. I got my frontline bombed. Yeah, that's, and that's they have snuck a flak forty-one up. Those bastards! I'm scared of this. I'm doing a dumb, dumb thing with my, my thing. Don't don't do a dumb thing. Do a um, smart thing. Yes, yes. But I need to get my artillery up and running, and then I can just bomb everything here. That's always a smart mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, who doesn't like artillery? Face C is here. Do you, do you have anything uh, useful, Nicholas? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like seriously, I don't even have enough shit in vehicles to get them over to a sensible place. Yeah. Let's let's just go air and see if we can I'm sneak our in air tanks, force yeah. around the side and bomb the defenders up here mm -hmm. a bit. Likely, I will lose my stuff from this, though. Actually. Let's get the fighters out and see if we can. Will I lose against this? I hope not. Yes, I will. So it's essentially uh, prodding the uh, front line at the moment. Uh, you're once again slowly but surely inching closer to the castle itself. Um, we'll see what the. Oh, and that's a bailed, but a transmission damage on the Marauder. Oh, there is a like a German flak, a flak hiding in the like middle of the woods down here. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Oh. There. Hmm. Hmm. I, I recall someone. I recall someone seeing that previously. You? <laughs> oh, ah, me. Is that a ah? That was a flak. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was just a random air air uh, thingy unit, like an anti air that wasn't very valuable, like just had a machine gun or something. I'm sorry. It is a bit too much dam da damage to be normal anti air. Well, I completely circumvented it. You should have done <laughs> you, so you, too. It was it was very impressive how he snuck around. Yeah. I, I agree. So what do we do? I feel like I'm a. Uh, Okay, got a lot of units. So, how's the artillery strategy going? You said you wanted to put up your artillery so you could bomb them to uh, smithereens. Uh, non-existent at the moment. And that's... Uh... There is a lot of artillery, though. But I don't know... Okay. Why are you... Hmm, okay, I'm too close. Target, low. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Target, low. Uh, Seva, uh, Seva Hazard, that's correct. No, uh, no E for Dev Clash today since it ended last week. Um, but the rest assured it will be back in a few weeks. Did you guys secure the castle again at some point? Because it's down mm -hmm. to 1 minute 22 now. Yeah, we. I think we just have to keep going in there. 
because I'm, I'm bombing it again, and I can smoke the downside, actually, which is a smart idea. I'm so smart. Yeah. And I can keep the smoke so that uh, the Marauders can't actually do anything, and then if we could just push in there... Or, well, it's just me, actually. Go! Let's see, this uh, goes for um, Roland here. Another uh, off-map artillery strike. Things moving forward. Oh, getting rid of some of the Axis units there, even though it's just disheartened infantry. You smoke this. We are getting in there. And you keep shooting on this. Yeah, so yeah. Gustav Kuriga wants you guys to push from the south. Oh, 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 oh. But I'm not necessarily this sure is gonna you, be have, painful. you have that many units that can currently oh, push from everything. the south. Because... Yeah. Uh, yeah, they kind of aim to... They aim to where you were, not where you're, where you're at. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can live with that. Because you'd have to reposition a lot of units to go and push from the south and get rid of the uh, the front line. Especially since Niklas has to take care of uh, protecting Point the Ock. Yeah. Uh, so I think... Oh yeah, I'm being artillery fired. That's not a good idea. But, 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 we are getting there. Come you. See if you can... I need to stay out of... Yeah, yeah I got it, I got it. People. Okay, so the Good countdown enter. is back on. It's uh, one minute, uh, 15 seconds right about now. Uh, we'll, I... we'll see if Roland can keep this because there's decently heavy fire and a lot of units falling back, but some of them are running towards the castle uh, to... Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, one of the... Well, that tank is no longer available. And the front line is slowly but surely collapsing, but is it still counting down? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Go. Go. Okay, all aircraft is off cooldown, so get up here. We're gonna try to bomb out their artilleries. So still counting down. We can see them. Uh, we can see the marauders now, since the smoke has cleared. We'll see if they do anything. Um, Why can't you? Oh no. That said, 30 seconds left, and the pushback is coming in on the castle here. Uh, one uh. of them pin, pinned <laughs> down, there's only the recon no. units that's up. Is that a marauder oh, oh. moving forward? Looks like it. Oh, I'm cheesing it so hard. Bomb the shit out of it. Ah. Oh, 20 seconds. I got, I, I got several of the uh, artillery units. Very nice. 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 And they getting most of my air force. Yeah. And, and we're uh, going in again. <laughs> this is gonna work. Keep smoking this. Smoke, be useful, artillery. Save the... Uh, and smoke this as well. Oh, we got it. Yeah, yeah okay. I mean, I mean. Okay, so... 10 seconds left. Shoot this. Uh, we'll see if it... Whew, this might actually... Ah, uh, we got it. We got, we got it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Total <so> victory! <laughs> Oh man, don't let me lead an army because it's not gonna go well. You know what? <laughs> let's have a let's have a celebratory assembly. <laughs> okay, ouch. So, what does the uh, what does the stat say? How did that go? Uh, uh, everyone has like almost <laughs> one to one KD ratio. So, a slog fest, I think, is the official mm -hmm. term. I want to know if Eugen is proud of us the way we are <laughs> playing their game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, Th that railroad battery kind of made oh, wow. it <laughs> work here. <laughs> yeah. And that... <laughs> that railroad battery was kind of devastating. I did not lose all that much. That usually means I'm, that I did I'm not lose all that I'm much. I've got whipped cream stuff in my mouth. <laughs> no but it's delicious. Oh, I thought I had a phone call. I was going to say, I thought I had a phone call, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that said, yeah. with with that mission done and the quick look at the um, at the divisions we had earlier, uh, Back to Hell is released. It is playable right now. Uh, Niklas Roland, thank you so much for uh, 
for showcasing your utter expertise when it comes to <laughs> playing these scenarios blind and just slogging through. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys uh, next week. Goodbye for now. Bye. Bye.